Hey everyone, I'm Talia from Postman. Today we're diving into something fundamental that powers the web and modern apps, REST APIs. So what is a REST API? REST stands for Representational State Transfer. Essentially, it's a style for designing APIs based on HTTP that lets systems communicate by exposing resources, like users, posts, or products via URLs. You send a request to an endpoint, which is a unique URL that's tied to a resource, like this one. The request includes an HTTP method, like get or post, headers for things like authentication and content type, and parameters for filtering and sometimes a body with the payload. Rust APIs commonly use five HTTP request methods to interact with resources. Get retrieves data from a server without modifying it. Post sends data to the server to create a new resource. Here it's creating a new collection, Put completely replaces an existing resource with the provided data, while patch partially updates an existing resource. Delete removes a specified resource from the server. Each method has a specific purpose, helping maintain clarity and consistency in API communication. Now, let's send a request and see what comes back. The server processes the request and returns a response, usually in JSON. HTTP response codes tell you the result of your API request. A 200 OK means the request succeeded. On the other hand, 401 unauthorized means authentication is required, and 404 not found indicates the requested resource doesn't exist, and then a 500 internal server error points to a problem on the server side. These codes make it easy for clients and developers to understand what happened without needing extra explanations. So why is REST everywhere? It's simple, language agnostic, HTTP native, highly scalable, and developer friendly. Think of REST APIs as the backbone behind your apps, powering everything from social feeds to shopping carts. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time.